Good day to you everyone. Welcome to Cheap Worms for Sale video blog and today we are going to address the number one email that I get from all of my customers. All of my worms died. What happened? Dare I say friends, perhaps your worms did not all die. For I turned these lights off five minutes ago and you are about to witness exactly what happens to them. Three, two, one. Now you will see that after five minutes the worms have already begun to crawl up the sides of the bin. Now had I not intervened and turned this light on, the worms would have probably all started to escape. Oh, here, here's another one. The worms probably all would have escaped within a half hour. They call worms night crawlers for a reason. And ladies and gentlemen, this is that reason. You see, what happens is that the worms are driven down by the light. They do not like light. Light is their mortal enemy. So the best way to keep the worms contained is to keep a light over the container for at least 72 hours or at least until the worm bin is established. Now I just brought these in from the bin outside. They are not yet established. Um, they're still restless. And that's the main problem. I raise my worms in a greenhouse. It's quite large, quite very, and we have very large worm bins here. So when you put them in a small little worm bin, of course they're going to want to escape because they're used to that vast expanse and they're going to crawl out of the bin looking for uh, the rich, endless mounds of bedding that once they were uh, so, uh, so privileged to have known. So that's the problem. And the best solution is that. The light. You should see the light. Yes. The best solution is for you just to keep a light over your bin. And um, if you want to remedy this, you, you need to have good feeding practices in place. So you should feed your worms regularly. Um, I would advise not feeding them until about three days later. And then they will swarm the food. And then after that, you shouldn't have a problem. The best way to tell if your worm bin is established is to just turn the light off. And after five minutes, if they start to do like they were doing in this video and they start to crawl out of the bin, you still have some work to do. But um, otherwise, your worms are not dying. Your worms are just escaping. And, and that has, that brings me to another good point in that you should not put your worms in outdoor bins unless you really, really, really know what you're doing. Because if you put them in outdoor bins, and I've made this mistake and lost many, many, many worms, especially when I got started, you put them outside and when the night falls, unless you have uh, outdoor lights, all the worms are just going to crawl away and you're going to lose all your money. Don't waste your money. Start them off in a bin inside. These are just uh, tiny cement bins. You can pick them up, and this is like standard in the worm farm industry. You can pick them up cheap. Uh, each one will hold about 10,000 bed run baby worms and you could house them in here until they're settled and then once they're settled you could move them into outdoor bins and not have to worry about them so i hope that this clears up some of the uh some of your uh, panic stricken madness that uh panic stricken emails that you're going to send me or um you're going to freak out about and start blogging about your worms are not dying they're just escaping so be careful Keep a light over your bin and make sure you have good feeding practices in place to prevent your worms from going AWOL. So if you have any questions, send out, shoot us an email at support at cheapwormsforsale.com. Comment, subscribe, yada, 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 yada. And there is plenty more to come. Thanks.